And this brings us to another science experiment with Science on 7. We have William James, he works in production with us Thank here. You. Yes, and so what we're going to do today is called Hunted Jack-O-Lantern. And he is the brains behind this entire operation. So take it away. What's the ingredients? All right, you guys, first of all, check out my YouTube channel, Science Dash. I do a lot of science videos there. All right, so today I got a pumpkin. I got a cup of warm water, and I've also got dry eyes. And another thing is, you're never going to want to handle dry ice with your bare hands. It's very dangerous. You might have to go to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you want to wear gloves, okay? So make sure I got my gloves on. Okay. I'm Safety loving this. First. This is uh, a little experiment here also with sublimination. Uh, that sounds like a mean big word, but really, you know, when you're talking about frozen water, it melts and it changes to water. Well, this is frozen CO2, solid, but as it's frozen, over 100 degrees below zero and it starts to melt, it goes directly from a solid to a gas. And that is the air we breathe out. Mm -hmm. And it's the magic here. But the only hazard I see here would be you need to have those gloves on because yes. it can give you frostbite in a right. second. Okay. So I'm going to sit this cup of hot water in this jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to take a piece of my dry ice here that I got. Hit the deck. <laughs> <laughs> and voila. And where did Ooh. you get the dry ice again? You can get your uh, dry ice from your local Kroger. And how much did you get it for? Um, dry ice, you can get four pounds for about, um, you can get four pounds for about $8 at Kroger. Yeah, that's it's a great good. deal, yeah. And this is really cool. This is something just quick and easy to do. Something in the house if you're doing like a Halloween party or something like that. Something to scare the uh, trick-or-treaters. It's just really to get into that Halloween spirit. This is perfect. I like the way it just pours out and yes. goes down. Of course, it's cooler air. There's another experiment. You see the cooler air sinks to the lowest levels. This Check is that how out. it looked when I went outside this morning to walk <laughs> JoJo. Like, this is exactly how it felt. And it this table, it kind of looks like Beach Lake yeah. did earlier yeah. with that well, steam see, pump. Dry ice is solid CO2. So when you put it in the air, it's already subliminating already. But when mm -hmm. you put it into H2O water, yeah. it, those chemicals dissolve much faster. And that's right. what really gives us off the steam. You know, it's a it's an, an inexpensive project to do, and it will wow the kids in the neighborhood. Yes. This is something we're going to do. This you can also make, uh, you know, the fake potion bottles. Uh -huh. Drop this down into those, and it'll bubble, and it'll put out this. You can have nice a witch's little, cauldron too. Yeah. The, yeah. Oh, can't forget the witch's cauldron. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So if you guys want to do this at home, we're going to go ahead and do the ingredients one more time. So what you'll need is, you can go ahead and take it away. Yeah, so you're going to need a pumpkin, right? You're going to need dry ice, you're going to need a cup of hot water, and a pair of gloves. That's really all you need. Awesome. And it's not much. Like I said, one pound of dry ice will last you three to four hours if you fit it in that pumpkin. This awesome. is awesome. I can't wait to do it. Yeah, it's going to be great. I'm <laughs> excited. All right, well, that's it for Science, Science on 7. 7.